Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. Today, we are going to discuss about one more SAP SD support project real time ticket. Business raised a ticket stating that there are some open deliveries are there and they confirmed that they don't want to create billing for those deliveries. To avoid creating del invoices for those deliveries, business requested to run the transaction code VL underscore complete. So VL underscore complete is a standard transaction code provided by SAP to set status of few fields. Okay, so before using VL complete, let's understand why business wants to do this activity. Want us to do this activity. Okay, there are few reasons for this. Uh, customer left the organization that means uh, the customer is not doing business with that organization eventually the customer has been marked as a deletion flag in that customer master level and uh, one more reason is that the customer confirmed that they don't want to receive the goods from us so delivery is created picking pg has been done still they are saying that i don't want the goods now right so in case of these two situations customer don't want to receive the goods and uh, customer left that uh, doing business with us that means deletion indication has been marked in that customer master level right you know in case of these situations business requested us to run wheel complete to stop creating the billing right so basically if you run the wheel complete means it will try to update the uh, billing status to c that means fkstk FKSDK is billing status field. If this field is set as C, then billing won't happen. Okay, so there are several ways that we can achieve instead of using VL complete. Right, the first way is to apply billing block. Apply billing block in either in a sales order or delivery. Or else, if the PG, PGI post goods issue has been completed, reverse that uh, PGI in uh, T code VL09, then delete the delivery and reject all the items. Right? So, either we can apply the billing block or we can reverse the post goods issue if it is completed. Then try to delete the delivery, then reject all those items. Or you can delete that item order as well. Right? But if we, okay, so, okay, let's see the demerits of each and every solution, right? So if we use this uh, uh, billing block in order delivery, right? So what will happen? There might be a chance that human error might occur that uh, some of the user might remove the billing blocks in order delivery by mistakenly. Chance of removal of billing block. So it's not a safer side, right? There's a chance that they will remove it by mistakenly. One more thing, if we reverse the PGI and delete all the device PGI and delete all the transactions. Demerits for this, uh, uh, this scenario is that, the solution is that, if we delete, if we reverse the PGI, then delete the transaction delivery and order means, there won't be any evidence or any transactions available for the customer for that material happened and we don't see any evidence in the system database table right so business so that's why so business saying that i want to see the flow the flow should be there in as it is like if we the reverse goods issue and delete delivery order means we don't see that order delivery in the system anywhere right so that's why they're saying that i do i want to see this i, I want to see that flow in the system but it should be not built, right? So document flow will be removed if we do this way. Okay, so no transactions will be available in VBFA, LIKP, LIPS, VBAK. So nowhere we see those order or delivery information, right? So because of these two demerits, two disadvantages, business requested to run the VL complete transaction code. Okay. Now let's understand what this VL complete will do. So VL complete, what it will do, it will try to complete 
complete status of few fields complete means it will update status to c okay this is what we will complete will do so which fields system this will complete will try to set as c the few of them are gbstk let me put in caps gbstk is overall status kostk overall picking status wbstk overall goods movement status trsta this is transportation planning status and lvstk overall warehouse management status and koq uk status of pick confirmation and pk stk overall picking status of all the items and pdstk qod status on header level and fkstk means billing status fkivk intercompany billing status right so the wheel complete transaction code will try to update all of this field as c if it is c means that is completed even though the transaction not taken place still it will update as c therefore a good issue won't happen if you update gbstk and if you update fkstk billing won't happen then the system verifying the status based on fkstk before trying to create the invoice right so we are eventually trying to update the status here for each and every field okay now let's log into the system and uh, see how we can use vl complete transaction code okay let me log in now okay the transaction code is vl complete okay so if we are aware of that uh, delivery you can specify delivery number here uh, if you don't know means you can specify delivery type if you don't know delivery or delivery type means leave it blank and you can simply specify the created and the duration when the delivery has been created okay i i am going to complete the status of delivery type lf the standard delivery right and i want to complete transportation planning status as well right and i am going to give the duration as 1 1 2 to i mean uh, one month january 1st 2023 to till today okay if i execute now see it is displayed two deliveries here with the delivery type as lf right and you see the status here overall picking status pick confirmation status warehouse management status goods movement status picking status pod status billing status total intercompany status overall status gbstk trsta transportation planning status right so how to complete the status of these fields if that is c already means system won't do anything for that if it is apart from c then the system will try to update c okay so how to do that so select any of the record that we want to complete as c, uh, c right select the record and you see here a green green flag complete deliveries so if you click this complete deliveries the system will uh, throw one pop up stating that do you want to set the selected deliveries to complete say yes okay there might be some issue in the system that's why we are getting this issue okay let's exit this let's exit from here it's okay so this is this is how we need to do that we will complete let me do it one more time for your reference lf the transportation planning flag let me give the duration as um 20 20 till today execute you see we get we are received more entries here right okay let me start one more time and I click this uh, complete deliveries and click on yes again i am getting the same error okay let me run the transaction code one more time secured okay so anyways we have some issues here uh, but this this is how we should do that activity okay so one more advantage of vl complete here is that 
suppose mm, we have completed status for all the fields by mistakenly okay so we have we have followed the wrong way and uh, mistakenly we have set the status of that uh, all the fields for the delivery as c we did a mistake how to correct the mistake yeah so in the same we'll complete transaction code there is one more flag called reset okay so first we are going to complete that if you if you think that that is a mistake then you can select that record one more time and click this reset reset means it will bring back to the old values right so this is how we should use this we'll complete transaction code so in a support project we will be getting the request and we'll complete transaction code very very frequently so a standard transaction code everyone should aware of this that's it for this video we will uh, meet in next video thank you so much